The Northern Territory Parliament has passed urgent legislation to return alcohol bans to Aboriginal town camps and smaller remote communities. It had refused to return the bans for more than eight months, but was forced to change its position following pressure from the federal government. Chinese dragons marked the start of the year's first parliamentary sitting, but they weren't the only threat facing the Chief Minister. Chief Minister, you are absolutely out of touch, out of ideas and out of your depth. You are unfit to govern. The government was forced to introduce urgent legislation to reinstate intervention era alcohol bans in Alice Springs town camps. I called on this government to think about what they were doing, think about the possible ramifications the impact of this crazy, destructive decision that the government made, the Northern Territory government made, to not continue with those restrictions. But the Chief Minister is refusing to admit it was a mistake to lift the bans last July. The legislation that ceased was coalition legislation. When that legislation, known as Stronger Futures, expired, the NT government allowed Aboriginal town camps and smaller remote communities to decide for themselves if they wanted to remain dry. Few did, and locals say the results of that decision have been devastating. You and your government failed. You failed to properly protect the people of the Northern Territory and we all paid the price. Eventually, the federal government intervened, forcing the NT government to reinstate the bans. It took the Prime Minister of Australia coming to Alice Springs to get you to act. The legislation passed with the support of both major parties. It's expected the alcohol bans will return by the end of the week. Community members will then be able to vote on whether they want grog to return once an alcohol management plan has been implemented. We believe in listening to all Territorians, including Aboriginal Territorians Order. and the views that they hold, Mr Speaker. The backflip on alcohol bans isn't the only headache the government will face in Parliament this week. The opposition will also introduce a motion of no confidence, arguing the government has put the safety of Territorians at risk. We are responding to the concerns of Territorians who want this government put on notice that it cannot continue to behave like this. It cannot continue to ignore the most fundamental basic right of every single Territorian, and that is to be safe. The fireworks are sure to continue this week. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.